Hey guys, it's Madison from Pips, and today I'm going to be showing you how to tie a Ruth and Isabel shaker bow. So first you're going to take the Ruth, and the Ruth's you don't have to cut a hole because we already have the hole cut. So you just open it and start filling in the, um, the sequins, glitters, whatever you want to use. Be sure to put it in between the two layers. So Ruth bows have two layers. They have that white background or whatever color bow background you get plus the see-through one in the front make sure it's in between those two on both sides so it makes sure and holds it in there and you could still see it fill about the same size on each side of the bow itself and then you're gonna want to make sure that you have about the same amount of sequins on both sides because if not your bow is gonna look a little bit uneven and it's not going to tie right because it's going to be too thick in some areas and too thin in others. So just make sure they're even. You can just put them up to the side and make sure that they match on both sides. Then you're going to flip your Ruth bow over and to do the same exact thing on the other side. Open it, fill it with the sequins, glitters, clays, whatever you decide to use. And then, so when both of the sides are done, make sure you pull them just a little bit up. So you want to get sequins or glitter throughout the entire bow strip. But you're going to want a little bit more on the ends. Um, just so it makes it a little easier to tie. These are more difficult to tie because they are so thick. So you will have to do some messing around with them, playing around with them. Just to get them the way that you want your Ruth bows to actually look. So adjusting is always key, especially since these bows are so thick. It's a, it just makes it a little more difficult to tie. So then there you have it. There's a Ruth shaker bow right there. Pretty simple, but just the tying part is a little bit more difficult. And now here's a Isabel bow strip. These are a little easier in my opinion. Um, you're just going to take right down the middle and cut one side of the mesh you don't want to do both sides because then all your sequins are going to fall out so then you just put the funnel in there and then you fill it up with your sequins clays glitters of choice again you're going to want to make sure that it's about the same on either side because if not your bow is going to be lopsided and you're going to have more sequins on one side than the other so just make sure you get them exactly well not exactly perfect but as close as you can and when you get them even you're gonna want to just tie it like you would a regular isabel you could put a dab of hot glue in the center of your bow when you're done to stop the hole from opening up um, especially if you're putting it on a clip, but um, if you're putting it on a clip or like a headband, obviously do the um, hot glue after you get that on there. But with that, that is how you do an Isabel and a Ruth shaker bow with our new seashell clays and glitters. So have fun.